Brent Tech, yeah, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has basically got off to an early start this week by rolling out the beta channel bolts uh, for the Insider program a little bit earlier than normal this week, which are builds 2261.598 and 2262.598 and 2261 has no new features um, rolling out by default and um, 2262 has new features rolling out by default although this week there are no new features it's mainly just a minor bug fix update and that's just another indication once again that Microsoft is finalizing the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update, which will be rolling out with the build 22621, am currently being tested in the beta channel, and that feature update could also be called the Windows 11 2022 update, as mentioned previously. And um, we could expect to see the update, the feature update, starting to roll out as early as next week on the 20th of September, although that hasn't really been officially confirmed by Microsoft, but nonetheless, it is rumored that it could start rolling out as early as next week, and then that would be a, a staggered phased rollout into the months of October and November. And um, if we just head to the release notes, and um, these builds have been bumped up with the latest update for version 22H2, KB5017390, which was made available on the 12th of September, yesterday in my region. Now, I would say the um, main change and, and so-called improvement, if you want to call it, um, is for build 22622, and that's to the settings where they, they say that for the time being, you will no longer be able to uninstall apps with interdependencies. So they give an example of Steam and gaming apps running on Steam, or repair Win32 apps um, in the settings apps installed apps menu and um, they carry on to say you will still be able to modify and uninstall Win32 apps without interdependencies and then for build 2262 the file explorer and um, there was a fix they fixed an issue leading to a small set of insiders with launch folder windows in a separate process and yeah they also fixed an issue um, where the command bar items like copy paste and empty recycle bin may unexpectedly not be enabled when they should be and then both builds, 2261 and 2262, have one or two fixes here. And um, they fixed an issue that creates a duplicate print queue. And Microsoft says because of this, the original print queue stops working. So that has been addressed. And then there's um, one known new issue, um, new known issue, and that's clicking the network icon on the lock screen does not work and will crash the lock screen and may require you to reboot again. And that's about it for this week. So as mentioned, not much really going on which, as mentioned, um, is a good indication that Microsoft is now, because just a minor bug fix update rolled out, they are basically finalizing the feature update, which will be rolling out as build 22621, as mentioned previously. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.